my back! We got your back! This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the New Orleans Saints. it up and boots it away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and tackled at the 21 yard line so a net negative there of four yards and here come the saints for their opening drive they'll be let out by their six foot four quarterback the former number one overall pick in 2015 Jameis winston throughout his career a few have doubted Jameis winston's ability to throw the football the concerns, they've always centered around his accuracy and taking care of it. When he makes good decisions on the field, excellent numbers usually result. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. From the 27, Winston over the middle into the hands of Michael Thomas. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Jameis to throw it. That is caught by Callaway. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 32-yard line. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Eluding the pressure right. The ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Throwing, Winston. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there, nearly an opening drive, INT. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. On second down, Camara. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Third and goal, Winston. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Marquez Callaway there to make the grab. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message. 
And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Will Dutch lining up for the point after. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. For the touchdown, wants to kick it off. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. And here comes Ben Roethlisberger out onto the field ready to lead this Steeler offense. And what a career we've seen from Ben Roethlisberger. Awfully consistent, tough, durable, strong in the pocket, great leader. A guy who stands in and throws it downfield and has also added to his game the ability to get the ball in his hands quickly and let his guys do work downfield. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From the 39, Roethlisberger, pull on the receiving end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the give, this is Harris. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Roethlisberger. And the throw there going to be incomplete. By the way, i got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. 
What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough legs. And the difference is what? Well, oh, you're right up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Nabisco's 115th Anniversary Celebration. By Papa John's, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. And by... PlayStation. The road has been rough. The load heavy. And nothing from hell to sky has turned us back. We did not get here alone. We arrived as one. With courage. With stamina. With teamwork. And after all the cheers have died down, and the stadium is empty, after the headlines have been written, the measure of who we are it's what we do with what we have. And I firmly believe in our finest hour, our greatest fulfillment to all we hold dear, is that moment when we work our hearts out in good cause and lie exhausted on the field of battle victorious. Because it's not whether we get knocked down, but whether we get back up as one. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Winston. And the catch made by Johnson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Winston. Buying time to his left. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Ray Ray McLeod deep for Pittsburgh. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. 
But that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Only needing two yards on second down. They hand this off to Harris. And they'll bring him down here up at the gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. second down this is Harris and this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Well, we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook a second and two that means your playbook's wide open you can run just about anything a lot of times the play caller he just looks down at his sheet sees the short yardage runs and goes to one of those. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Coming up on a second and six. They run with Harris, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Roethlisberger now to throw on third down. Short little throw to Ebron. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. on first down that leads to a second and ten now it's Roethlisberger and the Saints pressure gets him brought down for a sack Marcus Davenport just would not be denied that's a loss of seven Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. They get seven there, but it brings up four. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On 
fourth down. Here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Marquez Callaway deep for New Orleans. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jameis Winston and company heading back onto the field now. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Winston. His throw incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. From the gun, Winston. Flush to his right. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Winston now to throw on first down. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. down Winston that's complete over the middle to Callaway and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. This week's episode of Everything Reviewed is brought to you by Cookies. Try one today. Head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard-fought battle to this point. 7-0 is the score, with neither offense really able to get on track. But let's not waste any time. We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the This game on Fox is sponsored by Nabisco's 115th Anniversary Celebration by Papa John's the official pizza sponsor of the NFL and by PlayStation. Welcome to the 100th season of the National Football League. Tonight is not about the league. What's up, Juju? It's about football. It's about the players, the fans, the moment and everything else that makes you say, oh boy. Fumble! Oh. Oh. Come on! One, two, three. Let's go! Joe! No can do, cowboy. Damn, 
beef? Y'all know I have more yards than they do. You still got it. Yeah, it hurt. Boy, this is a great party. Get out there, old man. Old beast. He's open. Russ. Yeah. I got you, Tony. That's a cake. Can I have a ball, please? You want this? Yeah. Come and get it. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Steelers going to get the football first here. Trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, get us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. He's getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run again with Harris. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Harris. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Roethlisberger on the draw, it's Harris. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that is in ground. And fourth down now coming up. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We 
have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Winston now. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Winston to give, it's Kamara. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Winston. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Steelers ready to take over on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Roethlisberger's throw complete to Fryer Muth. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and four. Roethlisberger will throw. Ebron caught left side. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Seven yards, the pick up there. with a second and three. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Oh, he's trying for Smith-Schuster, but it's intercepted. 
picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A disappointing end to that drive, making it to the red zone, but they'll again CD wind up with nothing. And nothing, that's been the key word because they've had drives throughout that have finished off with nothing. Can't finish off a drive to save their lives in this game. And this one winds up again, giving them, dare I say it, nothing. Following the interception, Winston. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now a handoff. Here's Camaro. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Take it to the house, kid. Where's he going? Take it to the house, kid. Thank you. Take it to the house, kid. Big boys always trying to show off. Let him get their little shot. Take it to the house, kid. Hey, take it to the house, kid. Take those to the car. Give him a tip, will you, Joe? Yeah, I'll give him a tip, all right. Hey, Christian! Take it to the house! Hey, Nigel. Sorry, Julian. Nice kick, Harley. What up, Gary? Camara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. 
Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here comes the Saints punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. Fair to say it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan so tough to block as he gets in there to record the sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. What a hallmark of good defenses. It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Here's second and a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. 
those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Second down and four. Winston drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40. Before. Another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. This week's episode of Everything Reviewed is brought to you by Cookies. Try one today. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Now Kamara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And down inside the 15 he goes. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. A give. This is Kamara. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Give to Kamara running right. And right there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. 
Winston to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Lunch to try to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So Big Ben and the Steelers now down by two touchdowns exactly one minute remaining they've yet to score all game long but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot Roethlisberger and the Saints pressure gets him brought down for a sack Cameron Jordan in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. And he will be out of bounds here, but that will take precious seconds off the clock on a play that will wind up going for no gain. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here's Ben. throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete well this is getting close to a no-win situation now they've got one final shot they're on their end of the field and it's fourth and long this might require a little extra razzle dazzle to get it done all right they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down they're going for it here we go it's roethlisberger on fourth down now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Winston will kneel down, and that should be your ball game. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, Did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.
Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Nabisco's 115th anniversary celebration. By Papa John's, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. And by PlayStation. Fox Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. For NFL news and highlights, go to NFL.com.